What is going on YouTube? Expresso Shucko here, and today we are hitting the Regulation F Ranked Ladder with this Barrascuta and our Chaladon Rain team. I am extremely excited to try out our Chaladon. I haven't used it yet, but I did run into it once and it just absolutely ruined my day. So, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. And honestly, our Chaladon is probably one of the coolest Pokemon they brought out with the Indigo Disc. I liked Duraludon in Generation 8, but I didn't really use it a whole lot myself. But now that our Chaladon is a thing, we're gonna try it out. Anyways, let's talk about the team. We have Politoed with a Damp Rock as its held item to ensure that we have eight turns of rain as opposed to the usual five. We have Chilling Water and Icy Wind to debuff our opponents. We have that Chilling Water to lower our opponent's physical attackers, attack one stage, and we have Icy Wind to just hit both targets and then potentially lower their speed one stage so long as they're not holding a cover cloak or so long as we don't miss one of them because icy wind doesn't have perfect accuracy but i digress it's a thing we're gonna bring it and then we have helping hand on polyto to help just push over our partner's attacks to that next degree to potentially pick up some KOs. As far as the sweepers of the team go, we have Barrascuta with a choice band, and Barrascuta with a choice band in the rain just devastates things. Nothing appreciates taking a choice banded attack off of Barrascuta. We have a base 136 speed stat and a base 123 attack stat, which is nothing to scoff at. Now, Barrascuta is extremely classy. If there's no priority on the field, we're going to hit things incredibly hard. At minus one, we can still one-shot an Incineroar from full with a Choice Banded Liquidation in the rain, which is really nice. We have Flip Turn here to pivot Barrascuta out. We have Close Combat to hit Dark-type Pokemon super effectively. We have Throw Chop to hit Psychic-type super effectively. It's a good time, all things considered. And I'm pretty sure this thing does get access to Drill Run, which is nice for potential Electric types. You know, Raging Bolt's a thing. You might want to look into some things for that. I mean, you do have to worry about Thunderclap, but that's not important right now. As far as our Chaladon goes, we have Electro Shot to increase our special attack while the rain is on the field. We have Draco Meteor as a one-time nuke if we don't have any special attack boosts. And if we do have a few special attack boosts, then Draco Meteor is just going to hit incredibly hard and not completely just ruin our special attack, which is relatively nice. We do have Stamina as our ability, so every time we take damage, we're going to get a defense boost, which is in turn going to increase body press's power, so that's relatively nice. And then we have Flash Cannon, which is the only attack that's not gimmick related on this set. That's just nice general steel type stab, so that's relatively nice. And plus we have Terra Steel on this thing to not only pump up Flash Cannon, but to help the Flutter Main matchup, because our Chaladon's special defense is a little bit on the glassier side the assault vest definitely does patch that up but having that terra steel to make us resistant to fairy instead of neutral it's just going to be very nice at the end of the day we have amoongus for some support with spore and rage powder we also have pollen puff not only to do damage but to heal up our pokemon so that is going to be relatively nice we have tornadoes with bleak wind storm tailwind and rain dance if something happens to polytoad or we don't bring polytoad we still have the means of turning on rain with the rain and prankster if we need speed we got that tailwind and if rain is already on the field because polytoad's already on the field or torn already set it up we have bleak wind storm which we don't have to worry about accuracy checks at that point and we could potentially get a speed drop into the targets which is going to be very helpful and then finally we have incineroar with some fake out support we have parting shot knockoff and flare blitz this is the same incineroar that i used with the raging bolt team so i feel like i shouldn't have to dive too deep into that but if you didn't see that now you know anyways let's jump into some battles all right my opponent here had oh another rain team okay so we got Landorus, Pelipper, Raging Bolt, Archala, uh, Magmar, and Ogre Pond. All right, so Magmar is interesting because Magmar does get access to follow me, and with the Eviolite, Light, it might be a little spicy. So how do we want to proceed? Um, Archaladon doesn't look bad. I can always go for Tailwind with uh, Pelipper, or, or not Pelipper, sorry, uh, Tornadus. I forgot, I have Politoed instead of Pelipper. My opponent here has the Pelipper. That might be a little spooky, but... We could always go with the Tailwind and then go for Electro Shot to get a special attack boost with our Chaladon. The nice thing is we're Terra Steel, so we don't have to worry about Raging Bolt hitting us super effectively uh, with a Dragon-type attack if we do pop the Terra. So 
Barrascuta looks nice here, especially with the propeller tail. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll go Tornadus Barrascuta. We'll bring our Chalodon in the back. And I kind of want to bring Amoongus because if they bring Pelipper, I don't have to worry about bringing the rain with my Politoed. I mean, we both want rain at the end of the day, so it shouldn't be the worst thing to happen. So let's see how this goes. Honestly, I haven't tried out our Chalodon yet, so I don't really know what to expect from it. So let's see how this works out. So it's Pelipper and our Chalodon from my opponent versus Barrascute and Tornadus. Okay. I don't know why I sounded so surprised about it, because I'm the one who put the team together. But anyways, we do have the close combat, which could be nice off of Barrascuta. Nothing appreciates taking a choice band off this thing. And plus, we could always go for the Bleak Wind. Because I really doubt they outspeed my Tornadus. <laughs> so we could just go for the Bleak Wind and then just go for the uh, Tailwind next turn. Which isn't the worst thing, because if we get a speed drop into them, great. And plus, we're guaranteed to not miss. Ah, okay, there's the white guard. That's fine. Barrascuta is going to nail this thing with the close combat. So, let's see how much damage that does. Wonderful. That does a wonderful amount of damage. And thank you for revealing your wide guard, because now uh, Barrascuta is going to be dealing with you. <laughs> you angered the fish. The fish shall now have vengeance. So, let's see what my opponent brings out, too, because I might just want to stay locked into close combat. Uh, Barrascuta is frail to begin with, so I don't have to worry about it going down. Um, or rather, I don't have to worry about uh, questioning if we're going to live a hit or not. It's going to go down at the end of the day. So, Booster Energy, Raging Bolt. Um, Thunderclap is actually a little spooky. So, I think what we'll do here, we'll pivot into Amoongus. And we'll see if we can... I don't know if I want to Tailwind necessarily or if I just want to Protect. Um, I kind of want to Scout and see what they do. Because if they just pull out a Hurricane or a... I think they'll ever get Icy Wind. If they pull out an Icy Wind or a Hurricane, well, we can see what they want to do. And plus, we don't really need the Tailwind while Amoongus is on the field. They did go for the Thunderclap. It failed, so chances are that was going to be the bear, bear skew slot. Now, oh, I really don't like that. Um, <laughs> okay, what we can do instead, we can just immediately switch Amoongus out, undo the confusion, and then go for the Bleak Wind with Torn to try to get a little bit of chip into the Pelipper. We gotta get rid of the Raging Bolt if we want to do anything with Barrascuta, so... I think that's what we'll do. We'll get a little bit of our HP back with Amoongus. We'll bring in our own Archaladon, and then that way Archaladon can put some pressure onto the Raging Bolt. We do have a Draco Meteor at our disposal, so that is nice. That's also nice to know that we did have to Pelipper. Um, yeah, that's going to hurt, but we'll live it. And plus, I don't mind the idea of going on for an Electro Shot with uh, our Chaladon, assuming we don't get confused. No confusion, and our we get our stamina boost. Um, yeah, so... I could go for the Electro Shot, or I could just go straight Draco into the Raging Bolt. Honestly, let's do that. Let's go for the raid. Uh, let's go for the Draco. And let's get the Talent just in case uh, we do need it for our Chaladon. And plus, we get around the Wide Guard that way, which is really nice. Honestly, I was expecting a um, Thunderclap into my Torn if they thought I was going to go for the Bleak Wind. So that was some more of my reasoning behind that. And plus, now Barrascuta is free to come in and just nail things. And if the rain is only for five turns, at least now Barrascute is going to have some extra speed at its disposal, so we do have that. Okay, so the last one is going to be Ogre Pond. So, I really like the idea of going for the Electro Shot and the Bleak Wind. We did have to Pelipper, and my opponent forfeit. Okay, so <laughs> what I was going to say was we did have to Pelipper with the Bleak Wind, so we could have gotten them there. Hello, Noel. Anyways, good game to my opponent. 
All right, my opponent here has Meowskarada, Gudra, Fluttermane, King Gambit, Paldean, Tauros, and the Ape. All right, so Barrascuta looks really, really nice, but I do have to watch out for Sucker Punch from both the King Gambit and I think Meowskarada. So Barrascuta might have a little bit of trouble here, but that said, I don't think the team looks too too bad at the end of the day um intimidate off paul day and Taurus could be annoying but flip turn could easily just undo that for barrascuta so the question is is what do we want to do do we want to bring torn and polytoed kind of because then that way i can always go straight uh rain dance bleak wind or um what we'll do we'll go torn first or chaladon because what I'm thinking here is I can always switch in Politoed to bring in the rain if I want to go straight Bleak Wind. Um, so maybe that's what we'll do. And then we'll bring Barrascuta in the back. And then that way, if someone goes down quickly, uh, Barrascuta can come in. Yeah, I like that plan. Um, and plus, I don't really dislike locking into Liquidation, especially if we have the rain on the field. So that could be a nice little touch as well and my opponent did have a few dark types that are definitely not going to appreciate a close combat so we can always do that so meowskarata gudra into tornadus and archaladon i'm kind of interested in the fact that it's the original gudra and not the hisuian so um one thing that might be a problem is meowskarata does get triple axel so we might have to be a little bit weary of that so maybe what we'll do here is we'll go Tailwind and go for a Draco Meteor into the Kudra. And that seems a little counterproductive to the whole making the note of Triple Axel and then doing nothing but Meowth Corona, but... Oh, it's Terra Fairy. Okay, that's going to be a waste of a Draco. But at least we're not taking the attack drop. And plus, we can always go for a... Uh, flash cannon but the whole point about the triple axle is if we, if we know it's there then we can try to deal with the meowskarada afterwards um and if it's not there we just go for a bleak wind oh pedal blizzard didn't sap server okay cool so they're gonna break my sash and they're gonna get a plus one attack but i get a plus one defense out of that which is nice so here comes the terra blast so all right, I was not expecting Torn to be the target, but not the end of the world. Barrascuta can come in here, and we can bring in Politoed. Um, actually, Barrascuta is extremely fast. I don't think we're going to get outsped if we wanted to go for a flip turn, and regular Gudra does not have the greatest defense. So we'll go for a flip turn. And we're just going to go for a body press right into the Meowskarada. Nice damage. Okay. That was a crit, but that's very nice damage at the end of the day. We're also at plus one into our defense, which is relatively nice. So now if we want to turn on the Electro Shot, we have the Electro Shot. And if this Meowskarada isn't Focus Ashed, great. It is Focus Ashed, but... Interestingly enough, I'm faster. Uh, so, yeah. All right. So, this is going to put Gudra to plus two. It's going to put uh, our Chalodon to plus two as well. Politoed held on. That's nice. Um, all right. So, how do we want to handle this? Who use the Terra Blast? Eh, it's Politoed. All right. So, what do we want to want Barrascuta into? Probably Liquidation. Because um, Liquidation is just going to just devastate everything. Um, I do like that Archaladon's at plus two. I do kind of want to get a special attack boost with Archaladon as well while we have the opportunity. So I think we're going to get rid of Meowskarada. And I think we're just going to Electroshot right into the Gudra. The nice thing here too is... Electroshot has 100 accuracy, so we shouldn't have to worry about a miss unless there's a straight-up protect. So, we should be okay here. Meowskarada is going to protect. Not the end of the world. We're going for Gudra. 
So, the faint does do a lot of damage to um, Barrascuta, but that's not the worst thing that I can think of. Now, if Meowskarada is holding on to Sucker Punch, that could be very bad for Barrascuta, so we're probably going to want to get rid of that Meowskarada. Now, if King Gambit's in the back, there's definitely no uh, surviving with Barrascuta, unfortunately, but... We'll see how this goes. We got rid of the uh, Gudra. Um, so. I wonder if they thought I was just going to go for Protect on Barrascuta. Yeah, I wonder. Um, anyways, the Gudra's gone. That's, uh, that's nice. So, who's coming in next? Okay, it's Tauros. Alright, so... Meowskarada did just go for the Protect. I'm going to try to Liquidation this. If it doesn't work, not the end of the world. We'll go for a, another Electro Shot as well. If they go for Sucker Punch, we get ooh, we lose Barrascuta. We lose Barrascuta. We get rid of Meowskarada with the, the Electro Shot. If they don't go for Sucker Punch and we get rid of it, then Tauros is in for a wonderful surprise. Yeah. Okay, so they just want Protect with Tauros. All right, that's fine. Um, there is the Sucker Punch, so. That? Okay. That is not a very, very good EV. I mean, it makes sense for the Petal Blizzard so that they're not doing that much damage to their partners, but. Yeah, alright. Barrascuta gets to live another turn. The nice thing here is we do get the uh, plus one to our special attack. Tauros is uh, gonna dodge it because of Protect. But, um, the nice thing here is we just wasted their Mirror Herb with um, our Chalodon. And, depending on what the last thing is, we can just get them with a nasty surprise. Oh, it's Fluttermane. All right. So, Booster Energy, Fluttermane. That's fine. Now, Tauros does have access to Aqua Jet, so... Um, Barrascuta is probably not living this. I'm going to pop the Terra Steel. And we're going to go for the Tauros. And then that way, in an endgame between our Chalodon and Fluttermane, at least I resist Fairy-type attacks. I'm not neutral to it. My Assault Dust should be helping out. And plus, the plus two special attack should just really give Fluttermane a terrible time. So, that looks sharp as well. The, uh... Terra Steel on the Archalodon. So, let's go. There's the Aqua Jet. Figures. Um, that is one thing about Barrascuta, is it is very weak to priority, so something to keep in mind. Um, we're going to resist this, no problem. And we're going to get that Electro Shot. And the Special Attack Drop is just not going to matter, because we're just going to get it right back. So, goodbye Tauros. And we're just going to Flash Cannon the Fluttermane as soon as we get the chance. The Meowskarada had the Focus Sash and Fluttermane had a Booster Energy, so there's definitely no way Fluttermane survives a uh, <laughs> plus two Flash Cannon. No way, he said. Hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, we'll just go for that Flash Cannon now. And this should be game. How much does the Shadow Ball do? Oh, there we go. Okay. We live that no problem. Uh, that is a little spooky, but we should be in the all clear here. So, there we go. Goodbye, Fluttermane. Woohoo! <laughs> all right. So, uh, what did we learn? Uh, Gudra gets faint. That is actually really good to know. Um, Petal Blizzard and Sap Sipper is a fun combination. I've seen it before. I do respect it. Also, good game to my opponent, by the way. Um, and the other thing is, is uh, the special defense investment into this Archaladon was not terrible. So, I'm okay with that. Alright, my opponent here has Raging Bolt, Incineroar, Fluttermane, Archaladon, Ogre Pond, and Tornadus. Alrighty. So, Rain might be a little counterproductive because of the Archaladon, but 
we have our own Artelodon as well, so that might not be the worst thing to happen. Now, I don't necessarily like the idea of leading my Barrascuta into Raging Bolt, so I do think what we might do is we might go Tornadus as our lead so that we can potentially go for Tailwind or match Tailwinds. Um, I kind of want to lead the Archaladon. And then depending on what my opponent leads as well, um, we could always go for a um, Electroshot and switch in Politoed or just go straight Rain Dance. If they lead Incineroar, that might be a little bit sketchier, but it should be okay. We'll bring a Moongus in the back. And then I do really like bring the idea of bringing Politoed though. So I think we're gonna bring Politoed. So yeah. We'll do that. Uh, Barrascute is going to stay at home for this one, but this should be okay. I think our, our Chaladon should be able to uh, handle this. Also, that is an amazing trainer card on my opponent. So, let's see how this goes. So, Tornadus, Ogre Pond. All right. So, Tailwind and Bleakwind could be... Or, not Tailwind, Bleakwind. Uh, Tailwind and Cudgel could be bad. But, I could go Bleakwind Storm and switch in Politoed. Just a thought. If they go Tailwind, um, they don't break my Focus Ash, so... I kind of like the idea of doing that. Um, I could also just go for the Electro Shot. Um, I think we're going to Bleak Wind and go for the Politoed Switch, though. The nice thing here, too, is we do have Icy Wind on Politoed, so if we need to slow down um, our opponent and we just match Tailwinds at some point, we have that at our disposal, so... That is a nice thing, too. So there's their Tailwind. We're going to get a guaranteed Bleakwind off here, and unless they have Taunt on their Torn... Oh, that's scary. Okay. <laughs> Ogre Pond has Sword Stance. Good to know. But anyways, we're just going to hit them hard with that Bleakwind like we need to. We do get the Speed Drop into Ogre Pond, which is great. Um, I'm going to go for a Tailwind. And... I'm putting a lot of faith in Politoed here with this Icy Wind, but uh, depending on how much damage we do to that Torn might be uh, critical here. So we'll get our Tailwind. They're going for damage. Here comes the Bleak Wind Storm of their own. Politoed just takes that like a champ. We take a speed drop on Torn. Unfortunately, we don't take that uh, Horn Leash. <laughs> so... All right, I, I misspoke. Oh, I guess I overspoke about uh, Politoed taking the... Well, at least it took the bleak one, no problem. But anyways, we have Barrascute. No, we don't have Barrascute. <laughs> okay. We have our Chaladon. Our Chaladon is nice right here. We could go for the bleak wind. And we could also go for the Electro Shot right into the Ogre Pond. Which I do really like the idea of doing that. So... Spiky Shield off Ogre Pond, not, not the end of the world. Uh, we can fire off as many Electro Shots as we want now. Um, they unfortunately do knock out our Tornadus. Cause, oh yeah, because we did take a speed drop. So even though we both have Tailwind, uh, that, that could be a little bit of a problem. But the nice thing here is our Chaladon does have its speed stat intact. And Ogre Pond's at minus one, so... We should be okay. And plus, their Tailwind's going to end a turn before mine, so that is a nice thing as well, too. So, Amoongus really does not want to take a Tailwind. Um, or not a Tailwind, a Bleakwind. But anyways. This is their last turn of the Tailwind, so I kind of want to go for the Torn. Um, yeah, I kind of want to do... I'm going to Pollen Puff the Ogre Pond. <laughs> I'm going to Pollen Puff the Ogre Pond, and I'm going to go for the Torn. And then that way, if I still have speed on them, great. The question is, is do they have Protect on their Tornadus, or do they have Icy Wind by chance? Now, all right, that's fine. I'm one for the Pollen Puff. Um, it's good to know that they did have the Taunt. Uh, we're going to get rid of Torn. 
Now, depending on what Ogre Pond does, that could be a little bit spooky, but depending on how much damage we do, that could be nice. Now, they do have access to their spiky shield again, so I might want to target whatever Ogre Pond's partner is. Oh, they're just going to go for the cudgel. Okay. That hurts. Um, I do get another boost to my special defense. So. Whew. Okay, look at you going, Moongus. Um, their town one's gone. Great. So. Electro. Oh, that's Raging Bolt. Okay. All right. We're going to try to Pollen Puff our... Our Chalodon and honestly, the spiky shield looks really predictable on the Ogre Pond, so I kind of want to go for the Raging Bolt. Nope, oh, they want to protect on the Raging Bolt. Okay. Um, the Ivy Cudgel is going to hurt. Oh, oh, okay. They just. I'm getting a free Pollen Puff out of this. Nice. Um,. I'm okay with that. I am really okay with that. And I do want to get rid of the Ogre Pond because I am faster than it. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go for another Pollen Puff into our Chalodon to get back more HP. Because depending on what Raging Bolt does, that could be scary. Um, and while we got the rain still in our favor, we might as well get another special attack boost. So I get a feeling this is the Raging Bolt. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, let's see. Terra Grass. All right. I am at a plus two for my body press as well. I'm going to be at a plus three for special attack in general. So, honestly, it's not terrible. It could be much better. I could I could steal my Tornadus and access the Bleak Wind and Rain, or I could steal a Politoed, but this isn't the worst. Ogre Pond was at plus two attack. That thing is gone now, so... That is going to be relatively nice. Um, Drago Meteor is going to hurt, but I'm going to get another Pollen Puff. And that also puts me to plus three. So, we do know it's Life Orb. So, they're at minus two special attack. I should be able to live another uh, Drago Meteor. And I got to do something about that thing. So, let's go for a Rage Powder in case our Chalodon wants to double into mine. And, let's see. They're at minus two. What was that? All right. So, two more turns of rain. All right. So, I'm going to go for a Body Press into there, our Chalodon. I'm going to try to Rage Powder away. Um, whatever they want to do with our Chalodon. Yeah, I didn't knock it out, which that is a little bit disappointing, but that's fine. Oh, Amoongus eats that, no problem. All right. So. They're at minus four. I'm at plus four. Let's see. Honestly, if I can get rid of their Archaladon, I like Amoongus' odds with just pollen puffing down the Raging Bolt. Um, but yeah, we're going to Rage Powder, and I'm going to go for a, I'm going to go for the Flash Cannon. Main reason being is I'm at least plus three, so you can just hit that thing, get rid of it. And now we don't have to worry about the Raging Bolt too bad, because it's at minus four special attack. It's going for another one. We're going to live it. All right, so. I don't know about you guys, but I want to body press this thing. I want to go for that body press. Rain is done. So what we're going to do, we're going to Pollen Puff our, our Chalodon, get a little bit of HP back, and we're going to just go for that body press, because there's no way at this range Thunderclap gets us. There's no way. So, let's do it. Get him, Archalion. <laughs> it lived. <laughs> that, that is a little bit concerning. 
our Jaladon is just not going down, though. This thing's got stamina for days. Um, and we're going to give back some HP. Oh, actually, no. We don't even have to worry about that. Their own life orb just gets them. That's nice. Which, honestly, I'm very happy with how that played out. So, um, I, I definitely like that combination of the uh, the Amoongus and the Archaladon. And also, good game to my opponent. Hey, thank you guys so much for checking out this Barris Yuta and Archaladon rain team in action. I am incredibly happy with how Archaladon and Barris Yuta, for that matter, played out in this game. We got to run into not one, but two opposing Archaladons during the three games that we played, as well as two Raging Bolts, which is just something that you'll love to see. Raging Bolt is Barris Yuta's natural predator, and we did end up running into Raging Bolt in game one, where we brought Barris Yuta, so that is definitely something that I'm very glad Barris Yuta was able to stay away from, because that Thunderclap just would have given Barris Yuta a horrible time, because priority moves are the natural predator of the fish. But... At the end of the day, if you play around priority attackers like Raging Bolt and just get rid of them, Barris Yuta is going to go wild, so long as Trick Room is not on the field as well. And then, we also got to play with our Chaladon a bit as well, and we definitely got to take advantage of the fact that we had the stamina boosts working in our favor with Game 2, with that regular Gudra and the Meowskarada going for the Petal Blizzard. Each time they powered up their Gudra, they were powering up our, our Chaladon, which just made the physical defense stat just go incredibly high which meant we had very strong body presses at our disposal and plus we were also able to play around with electro shot and just get rid of things relatively quickly and plus that flutter main dynamic right there those attacks just bounced right off us especially once we went terra steel so our child on definitely played out really good right there and then in game three barris didn't come at all but our child on just absolutely carried we were down to Amoongus and our Chaladon for our last two Pokemon, and did our Chaladon represent? We basically just removed the majority of our opponent's team with our Chaladon while Amoongus kept it healthy with that Pollen Puff. So I am very happy with how that played out. Let me know what you think of the team down in the comments below, and let's get the conversation going.